Welcome to the Home's Electrical Systems course organized by NPR Online Technologies. Before starting the video, we recommend that you subscribe to our channel and visit our website npronline.tech. In this practical lesson, we will perform the connection of two light bulbs in parallel, just as it was illustrated in the theoretical lesson to which we refer for further information. We recall that the connection in parallel consists in connecting the neutral and hot wires directly to all lamps. We also recall that the connection in parallel is the only one to be used to power 230 volts electric lamps. The other type of connection, the connection in series, in fact, is not suitable for our purposes. In the connection in series, in fact, the available voltage is divided among the various connected lamps and consequently each lamp is supplied with a voltage lower than the total available voltage. However, it is frequently used for the series of colored light bulbs of the Christmas decorations. Starting from a single lamp circuit, the connection in parallel can be easily implemented by continuing with the neutral and hot wires up to the second lamp, and eventually to the third lamp, and so on. In this practical lesson, we want to implement a circuit with two lamps connected in parallel. Our starting point is the circuit that we have implemented in the previous practical lesson. We can see that, with the help of the electric tape, the circuit has been installed on our work table. More specifically, we can see the 9 volts battery, the 9 volts battery clip connector, the two wires, the corrugated tube, and finally the lamp. In this regard, it is necessary to prepare another lamp with the same electrical characteristics of the first one, used in the previous circuit. This second lamp must be inserted in the screw terminals and connected to two blue and brown wires of approximately 20 cm length. In this way we have two light bulbs ready to be powered. In particular, we will connect the blue wire of the light bulbs to the blue wire of the power line and the brown wire of the light bulbs to the brown wire of the power line, just as shown in the picture. It is observed that the light bulbs are off because the 9 volts battery clip connector is disconnected. When we connect the 9 volts battery to the circuit, the light bulbs will turn on. As already mentioned, the brightness of the bulbs is not particularly high due to the use of low voltage and low power battery, but as already mentioned, this does not represent a problem for the understanding of the practical exercises of our course. It is in fact sufficient to distinguish between light bulb on and light bulb off. The connection in parallel is highlighted by this zoom in which we observe that the two brown wires are connected to the same terminal and the same applies to the two blue wires. Instead, we observe that the connection in series does not allow the lamps to be turned on. This is because the 9 volts battery voltage is split between the two lamps. In other words, there are available 4.5 volts for each lamp which is not sufficient to turn on them. We recall, in fact, that we are using for our experiments light bulbs that are designed to operate with 12 volts. Our choice is motivated by the fact that these light bulbs can be easily found in electrical stores. Before concluding, let's make some further considerations on the choice of the light bulbs. In our examples we have used halogen bulbs which are particularly suitable for the assembly that we will perform in the practical lessons of our course. If you don't like the low brightness emitted by these bulbs, we suggest the use of 12 volts LED lamps. In this example we are considering a typical GU 5.3 base. Let's try now to power this LED lamp with a 9 volts battery. Instead of using a specific GU 5.3 connector, we will use crocodile clips also known as alligator clips which are typically used for creating a temporary electrical connection. We can see, in fact, how easy it is to make the necessary connections with the LED bulb by using a pair of crocodile clips. With the other end of the clips we make the connections with the 9 volts battery. In this way, we are able to turn on the bulb and appreciate its greater brightness with respect to the halogen bulb, as better indicated in this zoom. It is important to point out that there is no polarity to respect. In fact, by reversing the connections, the light bulb will continue to stay on. As indicated by these two circuits. These circuits show also that with a 9 volt battery, it is possible to turn on a 12 volts light bulb. It may be interesting to ask whether it is possible to use batteries with even a lower voltage. 
In this regard, let's consider a 4.5 volts battery. Once completed the electrical connections between the battery and the 12 volts lamp, we can see that the battery is unable to turn on the lamp. With this simple test we have then satisfied our curiosity. Well, we have come to the end of this lesson where we have seen how to turn on multiple light bulbs at the same time by using a connection in parallel. We have also compared halogen and LED lamps and we have assembled some circuits in order to perform practical experiments. We suggest you immediately consolidate the concepts you have just learned by carefully reviewing this video and above all by going through all our other videos on the subject, by accessing our playlists. We remind you that our nprnline.tech website is active with numerous insights on these issues. We also suggest some useful actions that will undoubtedly contribute to the growth of this channel, in particular, we invite you to send us your comments, to like this video and share it with your friends. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all our activities. Thanks for your attention and, see you next time.